Hello and welcome first graders to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall. Today we're going to learn about ways to measure and compare the weight of two objects. For today's lesson, you will need paper, pencil, and some random objects from around the house like a pan, a stuffed animal, a remote, or fruit. We'll wait for you to gather these materials. Be sure to put any items away that you use for today's lesson when we're done. As you are working today, you will have an opportunity to practice your communication skills by sharing your ideas through writing and working to make connections with what you read or hear throughout the lesson. Remember, your goal today is I am learning to measure and compare the weight of two objects. Let's get our brains thinking about measuring weight by taking a moment to look at these two pictures. Practice being a communicator by sharing your thoughts out loud. What is the same and what is different about these two pictures? Maybe you notice that these are both scales and they are weighing objects. One scale is weighing books and the other scale is weighing a person. Maybe you also notice that these are two different types of scales. Similar to our picture before with the books, this is called a balance scale. It measures weight. When one object is heavier than another object, it will be lower than the other higher object. Just like on a seesaw on the playground, if both objects weigh the same, then the scale will be level, straight across. Practice your communicator skills and make a connection. Where else have you seen a balance scale be used in the real world? Let's imagine our bodies are balance scales. Put your arms out wide, straight across, and imagine you have an item in each hand that weighs the same. What did you imagine you were holding? Perhaps you imagine you were holding an apple in each hand, and each apple weighs the same amount. Now make your arms look like this. Pretend you have something heavy in one hand and something light in the other. What did you imagine you were holding? I imagined a brick in the hand that was down low and a feather in the hand that was up high. Now using the items you gathered from around your house, pick two items to match how your body scale should look and place them in your hands. Great job. Now imagine something heavy in the other hand and something light in the other hand. Does your body look like this? What did you imagine you were holding? I pictured a crayon in one hand and a basketball in the other hand. Now using the items you gathered from around the house, pick two items to match how your body scale should look and place them in your hands. Great job. As we go through our lesson today, there are some important vocabulary to be mindful of. Lighter, heavier. 
Let's practice being a good communicator by writing two true statements using the picture and the words lighter and heavier. If you need help, you can use the sentence frames to support your thinking. The feather is lighter than the cat. The cat is heavier than the feather. Make a connection. What else do you know to be lighter or heavier than something else? Think to yourself for a moment. What do you know about the weight of each grocery item, oats and cereal? Let's start by thinking about the oats and the cereal. Using your paper, practice being a communicator by writing a true sentence that will describe the weight of the grocery items. If you need some help, you can use the word bank on the bottom of the screen to support you in your thinking. The words are weighs the same as, heavier than, remember the cat, lighter than, like the feather. Maybe you noticed that the oats were down lower than the cereal you wrote. The oats are heavier than the cereal. Or maybe you saw the cereal up higher than the oats and you wrote, the cereal is lighter than the oats. Now think to yourself for a moment. What do you know about the weight of each grocery item? Cereal, bread. Now let's think about the cereal and the bread. Use your paper to practice being a communicator by writing a true sentence that will describe the weight of the grocery items. If you need help, you can use the word bank on the bottom of the screen to support you in your thinking. Weighs the same as, heavier than, remember the kitty, lighter than the feather. Maybe you noticed that the cereal and the bread were level across the balance scale. We know that the cereal weighs the same as the bread. But what if we wanted to know how much something weighs? For today, we're going to use balance scales and cubes to tell how many cubes an object weighs. Take a moment and look at this balance scale that is weighing a soccer ball. Is the ball heavier or lighter than 10 cubes? The ball is lighter than 10 cubes. How do you know? We know the ball is lighter because it is higher than the 10 cubes. Now imagine the ball and the cubes had the same weight. What would the balance scale look like? If the soccer ball and the cubes had the same weight, the balance scale would be even across. How could you balance the ball on the scale with the cubes? Would you add more cubes? or take some cubes away. Mathematicians share their thinking with others, so practice being a good mathematician by saying your ideas out loud, either to yourself or someone nearby. In order for us to balance the ball and the scale, we would need to take some cubes away. 
Now that we've taken some cubes off the scale, we can see that the ball and the cubes have the same weight. Now let's figure out the weight of the ball. Take a moment on your paper, finish the sentence to make it true. The ball's weight is mm, cubes. Did you see that? The ball's weight is eight cubes. How did you see it? Perhaps you saw four cubes and four cubes and knew four plus four makes eight. Or perhaps you counted by ones and saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. Or maybe you counted by twos and saw two, four, six, eight cubes. In today's lesson, we went over ways we are learning to measure and compare the weight of two objects. Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and a communicator. Did you write to share your ideas? Did you listen and make a connection to what you read or heard? Thinking about our learning today and our mathematician skills, what is something that you learned? I learned blank. You can say it out loud to someone who's nearby, or you can write it if you'd like to. What is something you wonder? I wonder blank. You are welcome to share your ideas with someone who's nearby, who's taking care of you, or with your teacher. Thank you for joining me today, first graders, for our episode of Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall, and I hope you have a mathematical day, and keep on counting.